the next contestant, Henry Fu. Servant leader concept for this management theory, I think, quite a big uh, opportunity subject for me to discuss. And anyway, as far as I know, there's a leader, what we follow, her, and who can be a servant as well. A good leader is determined by the quality of the followers, in this case, the servant. <coughs> Servants, why are they in that position? Because they lack the leadership quality. So, they look up to the leader to follow the leader's example. A leader should be exemplary because he has the skill, the caliber to lead people, to motivate people, to inspire people, and to persuade them to do the right things. That's a good leader. But the servant can aspire to be a leader as well by learning from the leader's skills, his knowledge, experience, and observation. A servant can become a leader. Why should a servant be remain a servant all the time? Human nature, we are learning at animals. We are learning of we learn habits, and when we practice good habits, we become second nature to us. Just like leader. Are leaders born or are leaders pick up skills? Some say leaders are born. Some say leadership can be can be learned. And I say, like in Toastmasters, we have cognition track and leadership track. That's where the leadership track trains our postmasters to become capable leaders. So I would say, leaders have their place in society. Servants also have their place in society. Leaders and servants, they complement each other. Back to you.